Hello everybody, welcome back to the cabin. Welcome back to Commonwealth. Flipper, you know there's, this may come as a surprise to some of y'all. There's a lot of people who sell on eBay and other platforms who do a little bit of shady stuff with the post office in order to cut corners and save a little bit of money. I typically don't do that. Every once in a blue moon, I might cut one corner here or there. But for the most part, I try to keep it pretty straight and narrow on this stuff. And so it's pretty disappointing when they do something that is clearly wrong and costs me a little bit of money. You know, you see those eBay cost adjustments coming back. And in the past, it used to be a lot of, hey, you're getting money back. You know, you made some mistake that way, which surprises the heck out of me all the time. But in this case, I lost quite a bit, well, I mean, it's not a lot of money, but quite a bit of money for something that was very, very, very small. And I wanna talk about that today and look at some of these cool sales. Let's take a look. And as always, we're gonna grab a few items before we talk about what happened and it's kind of dumb but what the heck there's always something going on with the post office i suppose and i love postal workers y'all I, I don't i don't want to be critical of all you that's a tough job for not too much pay but this one's a little crazy to me sold the avalanche bungees really quickly for 30 dollars plus shipping and that's an that's a great uh, when in doubt Parted out item right there. Usually I'll buy the whole thing for five bucks, maybe 10, and you can do what I call the skinny strip, and that's part out three different parts of it, and they're usually good for around 50 bucks. And if you part out everything, a lot of it's long tail, but you can make 80, $100 easy. Next one I picked up down in Florida. I was out that day with Mike, uh, Death Out Picker. And I'm thinking this is it right here, right? Yeah, I think this is it. Let me open the box show you this guy right here it is a 50th anniversary mustang i don't know what you want to call it emblem logo car it's two pieces one comes out of the other there you go you can see how it comes out like that so it could be you know just that where that slides in there like that and there's a pin that goes with it too we're selling these pins off separately but we figured we'd throw one in with that. I think this one makes us our money back right here. And we had some other cool stuff with it and tons and tons of these pins. And so we're going to make a decent amount of money on it. $40 for that one. 50th anniversary. Plus ship. Next one I picked up at the 100 mile yard sale here near me. And it's been a year at this point. It, well, I guess it hadn't been a year yet. But it seems like it. North Carolina trash can. And I got it super cheap. But it wasn't in great shape. I got it for a dollar. And if let me tell you, if it was five, I probably wouldn't have got it because I knew it'd be a long tail item because the condition isn't great. And it's sold. Pretty cool old emblem. I'm not a fan of the Tar Heels, but it did finally sell. I didn't clean it, didn't do a darn thing to it. And it sold for 38 bucks plus shipping. So yeah, I got a dog waiting for me. I had to go into the eBay cave and grab something. You got something in your mouth, don't you? And here's what's sold. This is the Grinch inflatable, and it sold for 50 bucks plus shipping. And I was hoping it would sell before Christmas, because that means all of our Christmas inflatables have now sold. That was one of the best buys we had this year at that one sale. We bought like five or six different ones for like 30 bucks. We ended up making three or 400 bucks, and they're so easy if you don't mind blowing them up, because blowing them up is going to get you a sale more often than not, and showing that in the picture, 50 bucks plus shipping. The next one is something that uh, somebody asked me to do, a few people actually over the years have asked me to do, and that's put every single ET item we have, different ones, into a lot. So there's 16 different pieces in here. And I put it out on eBay for 50 bucks. I also put one over there on Dibbit.com for 50 bucks. I think, I think that one's still available over there. And this one sold to Mike. Appreciate that, Mike. 50 bucks plus shipping. Which is obviously quite a bit less than what we typically sell one-offs. But hey, you get to ship them all together. So you can't beat that. At any rate, I don't think you left a message, Mike. But I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy those. All right, I'm sure if you've been selling... Well, I don't know if everybody's got one. But most of you probably have got one. Where if you've been selling for long enough, you know, you'll get a... I don't know if you want to call it a chargeback. But they'll say there's a shipping adjustment. And USPS will either give you money back because you gave them too much in money, too much money in shipping, or they'll take money out of your eBay account. 
if you have shorted them somehow. It's heavier than you said, or it's bigger than you said on your postage. And like I said, guys, there's a ton of folks out there who purposely put those numbers under every single time, because let's face it, they do not check every package. I don't do that. I think it's probably bad practices. And you, you have people at your post office who don't trust you and you know, and then, then you got to go through and you got to scan everything in and you got to stand there and they just won't take it if they think that you're doing that kind of stuff. So I don't do it. But I remember shipping out, there's a couple of old football helmets. They look like this, if you remember. And I put them in this box. Here's the culprit. By the way, thank you to Jesse for buying plans for the Commonwealth Picker shipping table on CommonwealthPicker.com. And this box right here is what I used. And I put two helmets in this box 15 by 12 by 10 i was sitting right here because my wife was packaging stuff over here and i said i'm gonna have to reduce this by an inch or two in order to get it cheap enough to ship off and i did i got my little knife out right there and i cut it down and i put a little fake top on it and i cut it down about an inch and a half and by the way box sizes can vary and sometimes the length is actually longer on the outside than what the box says. In this case, we're right on at 12 inches. We are going to be pretty much right on. It looks like it's just a tick longer than 10 inches, just a tick. And then, of course, 15 inches over here is going to be, yep, yeah, that's pretty right on. So they are, you know, depending on the box company and who you buy box from, they're not always the right size as far as the outside dimensions. Sometimes they're measuring the inside dimensions as opposed to the outside. So I knew this was an issue. So when I boxed this up, I took about an inch and a half off of this and I shipped it out 12, I don't know what I did, 12. I took an inch off of it. And sure enough, it saved me some money. So here's the message that I got from them. UPS has some, oh, it was UPS. That's right, not USPS. Boy, I'm criticizing the wrong people here. I don't think I've ever got one of these from UPS. UPS has some cost adjustments on your shipping labels. We attempted to charge or credit your account based on whether you underpaid or overpaid. In this case here, I got charged $5.21 extra. So looking into it a little bit further, it says here that the dimensions on the box were 12 by 14 by 10. Remember, I said I cut this thing down. And the carrier has reported that your dimensions are 12 by 15 by 10. So one inch difference because it's over a cubic foot right there. I mean, look at that. It's, you know, at 14 by 12 by 10, it's exactly a cubic foot. And so I know those boxes are over a cubic foot. So depending on what you're doing, it might cost you a little bit more. And I'm well aware of that, which is why I cut that one down. Actually, I think I put the wrong thing in. I put 15 by, or I put 14 by 12 by 10. But in reality, it was, let me see if I get this right, 10 by 11 by 15. And then, so it should have worked out just like that because I cut the top down. I didn't cut the length off of it. And so I can guarantee you what happened because I actually dropped this one off at a different place than I typically do. What happened here is that they saw this right here. They saw 15 by 12 by 10. It was a pretty clean cut on the top. It was even. And they're like, oh, this is 15 by 12 by 10. So they're going to upcharge you. I can almost guarantee you they didn't measure that thing right there. Now, is it worth fighting? Probably not. So I am curious out there, have any of you had any issues with USPS that you just, because you know, we make mistakes, right? And I don't want to blame other people for the mistakes I make. And when they're giving me money back, clearly, you know, either they made a mistake or I made a mistake. And if they're taking money away, either I made a mistake or they made a mistake. But I just have a consciousness about doing that right down there on the ground while she was shipping, because I knew that was going a long way away. And so $5.21 over one inch and really shouldn't have been over any inches it was right and to be honest with you i really shouldn't complain because some of you old timers out there you know just going back a few years they used to just send it back and i've had i had a lady <laughs> at the post office send me back a pa package that was one tenth of an ounce over one time and i could not like <laughs> you gotta be kidding me of course it was right on my scale but you know who knows about the calibrations i'm having a hard time getting this out of here See, we're gonna have to move a few things to get it out. There we go, put that right there. Gotta get this. Now, these sell pretty good, but this one is not a very good model, apparently. 
in Revlon. It only sold for 15 plus shipping, but I mean, I picked it up for nothing. So I think, look at that, two bucks. So two bucks and 15 plus shipping, not a great buy. Next one's a small little item and it can go for a ton of money. Let me see if I can find the right place. Hmm? Oh, maybe I'm not gonna. Hmm. I found it in Cincinnati Pickers drawer, one I already opened, but I forgot that they would be bubble wrapped. I'm going to have to show these to you on the screen. A couple little bisque dolls, $15 plus shipping. <laughs> Thank goodness they're bubble wrapped. This one went to Athena and Joseph. Hi, I'm a viewer of your channel. Love watching you while I'm doing my shipping. It makes me feel like I'm hanging out with coworkers. I think that's part of the success of YouTube and reselling that that marriage sometimes it's a lonely job for sure so i feel like i'm with you guys every day when i got this camera up because in some ways i am so i saw these little dolls and had to have them thank you much i hope you and your family have a merry christmas sincerely and it's aka rembrandt ph on ebay well thank you i hope you have a merry christmas as well and i hope you enjoy i remember being disappointed last year before christmas when this one didn't sell I thought I'd have to be disappointed again this year, but I don't. A little Harley shirt, a couple bucks, sold for $16 plus shipping. All right, I'm just gonna pull all these damn it dolls out together. We sold a bunch of them. So I'm just gonna take all the men's out here and pull them all out at once so we don't have to do it five different times through here to get them. Put this one here. I always keep these extra ones around for stuff and hardly ever use them, but every once in a while. Trying to think how many we sold, but boy, we have been plowing through them. I guess they're great stocking stuffers, I suppose. I don't even know if I need that one. That's all the money ones. I'll just leave that up there for now. And we have some on Whatnot as well. Don't forget to go check us out over there. If you never signed up, check that link below and get a 15 free bucks if you use that link. All right, basketball. Two basketballs. Let me check my list here. Two basketballs, that's $24 plus shipping. Same person. We got a golf and a Grinch. I always have a hard time finding that golf. I think we are down to, to one of the golf. There it is. We got a golf. And we got a Grinch, which I don't put the Grinch. That's another topic somebody asked me about. So the Grinch is trademarked. And this is not trademarked the Grinch. This is a damn it doll that is Santa with a green face. And so that's why I don't put that in there in case... Some of you are wondering and we kind of discussed i had a ton of questions about the video that uh, casey did where he was talking about being sued and all that stuff people being sued by big companies for using different stuff and all that and we talked about it but we talked about it on the trash to cash podcast a little bit so i don't think i'm going to talk about it here today you can go over there and check that out if you wanted to hear my reply on that and we sold two of these as well and I don't know what colors you want to call them, Lakers or LSU colors or whatever. I don't even know. I just, that's what they are. They're sports dolls. And we sold two of those as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Two of them went to viewers. Wallen's out there barking at something. I don't know what. Maybe it's those chickens. Happy holidays from sunny Florida to you and your family. Getting this for my LSU diehard dad for Christmas. My eBay store is cape underscore comics underscore Florida. Thank you and appreciate all the content. I can list while I'm listening. Well, that's awesome. Very cool. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. Hope, see, hope he enjoys it. The other one that went to a viewer is The Grinch. Even though I don't call it a Grinch on eBay, I'm going to call it that here. And I hear there's a new Grinch movie coming out. So I'm told. So Turner tells me. I want to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Greetings, John from the Netherlands. John, hey, haven't, haven't talked to you in a while. I appreciate that. We appreciate Is this the same John? I don't recognize that last name. Maybe it's a different John. But anyways, thank you, John. We do appreciate you. And if you're the same John, you've been supporting us for a while. And uh, we hope you enjoy it. I usually know where like 99.9% .9 of the stuff is in here. But occasionally I get kind of messed up for a few minutes. And I'm hoping I know where this one is, but I'm not sure. It's one of those Disney Pixar haulers. And it could be in there, but it's not. It could be in here, but I don't think it is either. We don't normally put those big things in there. It's not in there. I don't see it in there. I'm going to put the camera down and see if I can find it. Finally found it in the Texas bin right here. It was propped up right down there against the edge. So when I first peeked in, I didn't see it. I had to look again twice. It's got the hauler here and the car inside. 
And some of these, depending on the model, and you don't want to get their giant ones. Well, you could, I suppose. They do okay. But this particular model does okay. $31 plus shipping, plus it has a car. Thought I'd pull the car out and show you. It is not one of the die cast ones. It's the one that goes with this one. So it is the one that is the correct size. And I think that helps it quite a bit. You know, the thing that gets me with these, when, when I sell stuff like that for 31 bucks, you know, you can find this stuff out there and some of it has value and some of it doesn't. I can't help but think having kids and having a dog that, you know, when a kid really likes a certain toy, I can just imagine like the dog chewing up that thing and it's like, oh, you know, mom wants to get him another one. <laughs> and so you go to eBay and it's like, I got to pay $31 for that thing. Hey, I'll take it. Those are, I think, Fisher Price little wheelies. So, like I said, some go for decent money, some don't. But Pixar Cars does pretty good. I think it will for a long time. Even though it was one of those things that is like heavily, heavily produced Snoopy ornaments. Hmm. I don't see any Snoopy ornaments here. That's got me concerned a bit. Did we sell this twice? We might have. All right, I had to go back and look at the picture. I knew we had just sold some Snoopy ornaments. And so I saw Snoopy in the title and I was thinking, oh yeah, let's go get those. And then I thought, oh no, we had sold those already. But this is Snoopy and Friends. I was looking for a Snoopy, didn't see one, but it's actually Snoopy's Friends. So it's Peanuts, but there's no Snoopy here. Charlie, right there. So you got Lucy right there. And then I think that's Wood. Oh no, there's a Snoopy in there. That's probably why we put it in the title. Hey, look at that. Can y'all see that? <laughs> his sled is being pulled by many woodstocks that's pretty cool 15 dollars plus shipping originally i did not think this went to viewer because they just said thank you in the comments and sometimes it is sometimes it's not some people just say thank you when they buy something right but this is katrina jcat v mac we know you so appreciate it and i hope you enjoy those ornaments actually i want to show you really quick i've got some wrenches there that had sold but the person canceled just a few minutes ago so i'm not going to pull them we just canceled it before. It's always better to cancel it before you ship them, right? Definitely. So I had four big wrenches and two of them were made in the USA and two of them were made in China. And the guy's like, uh, you know, I don't think I want them if they're made in China. I'm like, okay. I was like, I can ship you the other two and give you half off. And he's like, well, I need all four of those sizes. I just don't want them made in China. I said, okay, I understand. So we gave him his money back and I guess they're relisted. Here is one of the sales that always makes my heart happy. Stupid sale makes me smile anyways. If I can find it, it'll make me smile. Hmm. Boy, I'm having trouble lately with these drawers. Have y'all noticed? For like the last week, I've been having trouble. I'm gonna find it though. Probably the last place. Actually, I don't know why I'm... I always put game parts and pieces down here. I don't know why I'm struggling so bad. This one had directions in it that I thought. Well, I don't see the directions. Not at all. Unless they're in there. Oh, there they are. They're packaged between them. Look at how I outsmarted myself. So, it's got the directions, the cups, and the die. And then the dice in there. The coupling dice in there. Backgammon replacement pieces. <laughs> It never ceases to amaze me. $16 plus shipping for those right there. You can sell those for as much or more than you can sell a whole set for because people make their own backgammon boards and they just want these. And we sell them. I don't know why, but we do. They don't sell as fast as they used to. It's probably because I've been talking about it for five years. Turner's got a little Commonwealth comedy for us. What do you got, bud? Why are elves such great motivational speakers? Why are elves such great motivational speakers? I don't know. Because they have a lot of elf confidence. <laughs> a lot of elf confidence. Turner's got a game he wants to go watch, so get on out of here, bud. Bye. Getting down to the nitty gritty on the jacks. And that one sold for 40 bucks, as they all are. Free shipping, which depends on where it's going, depends on how much money we're making, but we're averaging about 18 almost $19 a piece profit on them. It's not too much work, I don't think, for a multi-quantity listing. Since last year, we've probably sold 15 all right, y'all, I have made some kind of silly mistake here because I had four different Tebow jerseys. Well, they weren't all different, but they were different in some way. Either it was brand new or not used, or excuse me, brand new or brand new without tags or maybe used. And then that was a Bronco jersey, and that's the last one I have. So I've messed something up because I'm supposed to have a Florida State one or Florida State, Florida Gators one. Sorry. <laughs> for all you Florida people. So I think I'm going to have to fix this. The only other thing I can think of is 
a lot of them we had duplicates of. I kept some out there and one we were going to sell on whatnot. And we've done those slowly but surely through auctions. So maybe that's what I've done. I hope that's what I've done. Or I'm going to have to send a refund. And I sold a Dig Dug. <laughs> this might be a tongue twister. Sold a Funko Pop. I sold Dig Dug on Dibbed It. And I just put certain things over there. We're having a great time over there. Guys should come and check it out, if nothing else, and see all the cool stuff. One thing I did not think would happen when I started this over there with Dave and Carrie is that I would buy so much over there. I love this stuff. We started a site that sells basically only the stuff we absolutely love, and then we find our stuff buying it because it's the stuff we absolutely love. But I get to sell the stuff I love as well. So this one went to Paul Myers, I think. For $11 plus shipping, I got, well, I, we bought a bunch of them for 15 bucks down in Florida, and we split them all up, and I decided I'd only take two, and so I paid five bucks for two of them, and they're not huge sellers, but I've made my money back and a profit off of just the one, Dig Dug. That is pretty cool. Maybe I should have kept that one. Anybody like Dig Dug out there? Tell me your favorite 8-bit video game down below since we're talking about shipping today have you all seen that they're they're going to start allowing combined international shipping and i haven't read through it i don't know if it's automated or if you have to like hit a button or something but that should be pretty big you know if you're somebody overseas and you're buying stuff from over here it costs a lot of money and so maybe if you can figure out all the stuff you want it might entice you to buy a lot more and I'm wondering if there's any way, there's probably not, I was going to say any way possible to have be able, people over there to be able to buy from like five or six sellers if it's the same day and combine those orders. I highly doubt that's possible, but boy, I think it would increase some international sales. And for some people who are selling niche down items to people who are definitely interested over, you know, in the Far East or wherever, I think this could be a, a pretty big benefit where you can get multiple sales because it is so expensive and people want to save that money. So let me know what you think out there. All right, y'all, it's super cold. So we have the heater on in here. Wallen's in here making a bunch of noise. And Reagan has a couple of thank yous. Sally got an ornament and Lori got a Trash Cash CWP shirt. You got it. And you got 10 more of those ornaments to sell and we'll sell out. We're getting out of crunch time. I'm not so sure we're going to make it this year, to be honest with you. But that's okay because we'll have 50-50 charity auctions for next year. Thank you, baby. Bye. And over to your sticker at CommonwealthPicker.com. Two quick gifts I want to show you really quick and then something that I kind of hinted at the other day. I figured I'd wait to the end of the video so all you hardcore folks out there get the benefit. Sally... And Rob, you guys are awesome, by the way, sent us this Tupperware <laughs> yardstick. I got just absolutely love that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Janet sent us this Enemans scrub, which we usually turn into 50-50 charity auctions. Thank you, Janet, for that. Let me know if there's somewhere in particular you'd like that money to go. And this message is from Brad and Tanya, and it's, I've got to show you what we bought off of them. First of all, this is an incredibly nice message. And I don't want to read it all. It makes me blush. But I like this the best. I suppose you can pass along love to Dave and Carrie as well. You guys have a good thing going. Who knows? Maybe <laughs> you may be instrumental in helping those two guys make something of themselves. Well, that's funny. They uh, certainly have done that for themselves already. There's no doubt. So thank you to all of you guys. This was very, very kind. We actually bought this on a dip dip. Oh, no, it wasn't. I take it back. It's over on District. It's on One Shop. One Stop Shop. And over there, you can find some crazy deals sometimes. And this was on auction, and he was clearing out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to bid on this. And I got all of this. It's like 70 pieces. I mean, there are tons and tons of figures in here. I mean, just tons of it. And three belts, and he's losing his hair right there, but... This was awesome. I paid 27 bucks, y'all. So thank you very much. I'm going to go through them. I'll keep some for myself. But I'm I'm kind of the old school guy. So Stinger in there. And there's a few in there I saw that are kind of closer to my era. But the rest of it's going to get sold off in some way, shape. But maybe I ought to auction them off over on Dibbed It. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do that. You should check it out. But I just want to say thank you. There is some sourcing to be had in those auctions over there. 
for those of you who like to do online arbitrage. So at any rate, thank you all for joining us today. As always, I hope you are going to have, I hope your holiday season is terrific as we head into it, get a little bit closer. Sales maybe start slowing down. I don't know. I know we've been filming every day and I'm going to take a little time off. So some of these videos may be two, three, four days delayed so that we can kind of spread them out. But I just wanted to say thank you again to everybody. We appreciate you and I can't wait to see you next time.